pure word of God, the living manner of God. I am the bread of life. I am the bread of life, he says. I am the bread of life. The bread of life. So come and feed upon heaven's glory. Feed upon spiritual things. Feed your soul upon the spiritual things of God. Heavenly manner. Heavenly truth. The heavenly word of God. Feed your soul, my friend. Feed your soul upon him. Feed your soul upon the Lord. While you can. Please, there is a hell. There is a hell. When you die, there is a hell. There's no iPhones in hell. You won't get bit. The iPhone 10 won't be in hell when you die. When you die, there'll be no iPhones in hell. You won't be able to use an iPhone in hell. There'll be no iPhones there, folks. There'll be no iPhones in hell. There'll be no Facebook in hell. There'll be no Instagram in hell. There'll be no gaming in hell. You'll be jumping like a hot cooked chicken. You don't want to go to hell. Jesus paid the price that you don't go to hell. So don't take it lightly. Don't take your salvation lightly. You can mock me as a preacher, but I'm telling you the truth. You, there is nothing in that hell that you want to that you want to go for. You don't want to go for the things of hell. There's no blessing. There's no joy. There's no peace. There's nothing that you could ever want in hell. Hell is a horrible place. Hell is a terrible place. Hell is an evil place. Hell is an horrible place. You don't want to be going to hell. Those who commit adultery will go to hell. Those who are swearing will go to hell. Those who worship false gods will go to hell. Those who reject God and don't have faith in Him will go to hell. Hell is a real place. Hell is a real place. And the devil, the devil has blinded you. The devil has got you by the nose. The devil is giving you everything that you want. He's giving you everything that you want and you're drinking in the devil's lies. You're drinking in the devil's lies. The devil's lies are there's no hell. The devil's lies are you're not a sinner. The devil's lies are Jesus is not the son of God. Those are the devil's lies and you're drinking in those lies. You've listened to those lies and they brainwashed you. Those lies of the devil have taken you down and taken you to hell. Those are the lies of the devil. But then the truth of the word that this is a faithful saying that Jesus Christ came to save sinners of which I am the chief. That's a faithful saying that he's come to save sinners of who I am the chief. He is the one who has come to save us. He is the one who's come to deliver us. He is the one that's come to forgive us. Jesus Christ has come to forgive and cleanse. Assalamu alaikum. Are you Muslims? Do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe he died for you on a cross? Do you believe Jesus died for you on a cross? Why? Why don't you believe him? Why? Just tell me why. Okay, let's say I agree with you, but what evidence have you got to show that Jesus did not die on a cross? What's the evidence? Okay, okay, okay. So, so the Quran says he did not die. Does the Quran say he died or did not die? Okay. So, so if he if he didn't die, if he didn't die, you just face me so don't, he doesn't get your face. If you face no, you face me so then he doesn't get your face. Yeah. So here we have a Quran. Do you know the verse? Okay, so, so here, here, here what our problem I have is we have evidence that he died. It says in the Bible all over. All over the Bible. Okay, sh show me when and where and how. How can you show that? If you look on the internet, if I say, if I say, if I say the moon is green, I've got a Fuck it up. Yeah, but 
Well, but Muhammad, your prophet, he couldn't read. Muhammad couldn't read and write it. So, so if God could, you, if you say that God used someone who could not read and write, can you use you? It's normal Sunni teaching. It's normal Sunni, honestly. I study all the time, so it's, it's normal Sunni teaching. Sunni teaching. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, if you died tonight, are your sins forgiven? I don't know. You don't know why. You don't know. Just as I said, we're not professional, so we don't know anything you're asking us. It's like we don't know. It's specialising that thing to what you says it. If you want to like proper information, just go to some mouth. I I understand that, but surely the truth is simple. But something simple, the shahada is simple, isn't it? Right? It's very simple, isn't it? Can you find that can you find the word shahada in the Quran? The word shahada is not in the Quran. But but it's simple. I'm on, I'm on about the word shahada. Why do you want to know the word shahada? Because all I'm saying is that the thing, that's a simple thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But we have simple things, but we've got evidence for it. As I said, if you want to talk about it, go to some mark. I'll, I'll give you the mark. What? Have you not met Christians before? No, never met. Never met. But you know what Christians believe? We believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And we believe that he's our saviour and he died on a cross for us. So, so instead of God punishing you for your lies, let's say you've lied. Or you say you've committed adultery. You've looked at a girl and you fancied her and you had a sexual thought. Instead of God punishing you for your sin, Jesus Christ is your saviour and died on the cross. And he's taking the punishment for your sin. Just kind of say that if I'm a Christian and I do something, Jesus will take that punishment for Yes. So, I, I don't really believe in that. Why? Why? Tell me. Do you think it makes sense to be on that? Well, it might. It's like me saying, yeah, so, what? What sins you commit, you blame someone else for that. Okay, okay. That's not, don't, don't you think that's, that's fair though? So, in Quran it says, that if you commit a sin, you get punished for that. The Quran, the Quran says you get punished for that. Yeah, for that sin you commit. But you're trying to tell me that if that if some person did something wrong, you're trying to say that Jesus is going to take that blame for it. That doesn't like, it doesn't mean I don't. Right, right. Well, do you know like in the Quran, does it teach about Adam? Adam? Yeah. You just come around it. I'm not very old, sorry. Sorry, sorry, you're not on the faces you're not on it tomorrow. So, you know Adam, right? When he sinned, he brought the world into sin. Right? And Jesus is what is called the second Adam, he's the second chief. Now, just let me finish it. Let me finish it. So, so you imagine Donald Trump goes on holiday to Iran. Right? Now, if the Iranian president was to stab Donald Trump. Donald Trump gets in his plane, comes home, right? That stabbing of the Iranian president, will that just be his sin, or will it affect the whole of the nation and bring the nation into war? Yeah, so what we're seeing is the head, the chief, does have a right to stand on behalf of the nation. Let, let, let me finish, let me finish. So Jesus is the head of the human race, and he has a right to stand in your place. And he stood in your place and died on your behalf. Yeah, I get that. But, but Do you get that, yeah? Yeah, I get that. But here's the thing though. This is the point of view you're trying to do something like the Christian people who haven't got a Jesus and take the thing. It's like if I was a Christian, I'm not, but if I was, I would just go kill it because Jesus would give them. Now that's a good point, I agree with you. Now that that's point Yeah, but that point where you're saying I totally agree with you. You see, what you're doing there, which millions of months were well, I not millions. I've talked to hundreds, maybe thousands. And I agree with that point, and every Christian would agree with you. We don't we believe what you're saying. Because it's not right to say, oh God has forgiven me, and then you could keep murdering and killing and doing whatever. 
what, what we're saying is, whenever, before you believe in God, the mistakes that you've made, you can be forgiven, right? Once you're forgiven through Jesus, you ha then have to walk the walk. Right? But listen, you walk the walk, but well, sometimes you make mistakes, but you're not purposely going around doing things. But you'll make mistakes, you'll fail, or you'll struggle, or you'll have issues, but, you, but you're still forgiven if you truly have repented and believe in Jesus. But the idea that you can believe in Jesus and then say, let's say, oh, I believe in Jesus, and then next week, I go to the nightclub and sleep with 20 girls. And then the next week I keep doing it. And then I come to you and say, hi mate, I'm a Christian. I'm not a Christian. Because it, it's, it's wrong. You see what I'm getting at? So I agree with you, bro. You're right. You're spot on what you're saying. That thing thing. Well, what? You're not a professional, so I can't really give you that yeah, but we're dialoguing, we're dialoguing. I, I, we could dialogue on a simple level. The questions that you ask are questions that Muslim scholars would ask me. So the, the good questions that you say. Yeah, uh, okay, so is it clear for Muslims as well that could you preach in the Quran every day that you found Yeah. That and then you'd be forgiven. But it's not, it's the same thing you explain to Muslims as well. But it's not, because for you, for you, it's, it's up to Allah, He can forgive, He's most merciful and He forgives. Yeah? yeah. We're saying no. God is just, he has to punish and he can forgive. So for example, let's say someone attacks your sister, beats her up, right? They come to you and say, forgive me. You can forgive. But if your sister's person who beat your sister up is caught by the police, they'll go to court and they can say, oh, judge forgive me but they won't be forgiven the judge wait, wait, the judge will say no your sentence now you forgave him but he had to be judged yeah so god is forgiving but he's just and he has to judge as well as forgive so he has to judge your sin as well as forgive your sin and he judged so if he judged you you go to hell but you said according to god he's you say that if someone like, um, as you said, uh, what did you say again about the thing? Uh, uh, you can, that, yeah, yeah. If you forgive the person, then God doesn't have to get involved if that happens. Okay? And just the way you said, I think that's exactly the same. No. And you said for Allah, Allah is one of If you, if someone beat up his sister, yeah. and then the, the police took him to court, yeah. and he said, we as a family forgive. The judge will still sentence that person. No, the judge won't. It will. Okay. Okay. I, I, I do not either. I've seen it there. I'm living here. Well, you bring me, you bring me a, 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 a documentation where where someone damaged someone physically, beat them up. Yeah, and they forgive that for them. About people who have different cases. What's that? Judge, what was it? There's no way there will be some punishment at some. There would be. There would be. Because the, the British law, the, well, you have to tell the children the case. I don't. I don't believe it because the law, the law has to has to kick in with some kind of judgment if there's a crime committed. Unless you say so, okay? So if someone gets, if I like clean up, and then if I say he goes to jail, and says... Alright, let's take it, go on, sorry, go on. Alright, let's take it to another level, right? Someone kills his sister, right? He forgives. The girl, the, the guy goes to court. Now, get out of that one. Is the judge going to say, you forgive him, let him go? No, I don't really think that. I don't think that, right. So the, I've established the point yeah, yeah. that there is justice, and there has to be justice as well as forgiveness. So, if God judge you, you're going to be judged. But Jesus, so, sorry, his face, he's put it on my face. 
So Jesus took the punishment for your sin. Those are the words of Jesus. Could you point the camera to that? John 3.16, those are his words. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So those are the words of Jesus that he's saying that he's gave his life. But one's got to be right. Islam is... The Bible changed. Changed. Right. In Surah 634, in the Quran, it says this. It says, my word cannot change. In, in the Quran here, right? You go into Surah 634, right? You're okay, you're good. Surah 6. So, sir, so, 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 Surah 634 says this, yeah? It says, And certainly we were messengers denied before you, but they were patient over denial, and they are harmed until over victory came to them. And none can alter the words of Allah. And there has certainly come to you some information about the previous messengers. Now, listen, listen. This whole chapter, Surah 6, it's about the messengers, not just one messenger, it's about all the messengers of the Quran. People fighting the messengers, trying to attack the messengers. Surah 634 is saying, Allah's words can't change. And that's on about all the messengers of the past. Now this has got all the messengers of the past. So according to the Quran, the Bible can't change. Well, here's the thing though, according to the Quran, the Bible can't change, but a normal person can't do it. And never things, look, no as the things change, from, if you like, look at the things happened in 1996, and if you look at the things happened in 2018, that is changing, isn't it? Is it changing or not? It has changed. Oh, like little things that change, okay? So, I would say, I'm not really sure, I don't want to be offensive or anything. But no, no, like we can have a dialogue. But, 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 the reason why the Bible hasn't changed is because, it's interesting that you, even though the Quran says it hasn't changed, you don't believe the Quran. No. You're actually not. arguing against your own book. No, it's not. That. You're arguing against your own book. Your own book says it's the word can't change. Well, so, 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 you're, yeah, you're, you're, a, you're a Muslim, but at the same yeah, time you're an atheist. No, that's because not. Because you're attacking his... We have put... Uh, how? I'll give you some arguments for why the Bible hasn't changed. We have over 5,000 uh, Gospels of... Um, uh, 5,000 New Testament manuscripts. Old Testament, we have 42,000 Old Testament manuscripts. Now, the more manuscripts you have, the more you know that you've got the Word, right? Yeah. Now, when you compare that to any other ancient literature, the Bible stands out above any ancient book, even the Quran. Now, I can tell you the Quran has changed. Okay? Okay. The Quran, first of all, came down according to the Islamic teaching. It came down from Angel Gabriel to Muhammad. I've said this to Muslim scholars, so this is true. It came down from... Uh, Angel Gabriel, that's what they believe. It came to Angel Gabriel, it went to Muhammad, then Muhammad gave it to companions, they wrote it on sticks, stones and bones. Right? That's the first thing that happened. Right. So where's the sticks, stones and bones? But we don't know about that thing. Yeah. No, look, now, we don't know about that thing. My friend, let me tell you something. I've asked this Muslim scholars, high up eminent scholars in Hyde Park, where's the sticks, stones and bones? Not one of them has ever said we have them. So you don't know if the Quran has changed or not because you've not got the evidence. Yeah. Right? Secondly, then you have a guy called Uthman. You know who Uthman is? Yeah. Right. Now Uthman, there was arguments according to Islamic teachings that there was different, uh, different uh, understanding of how you pronounce the Quran. So Uthman got all the different Qurans and he made one Quran and he burnt the rest. This is in Uthman, it's in Bukhari. Bukhari is very authentic. Very authentic. So he burnt all the other Qurans, he had one Quran. Now here's the point. How do you know that he has the right Quran and the others we're not right. Okay, come to the same thing. We are not scholars, we are not professionals, okay? Compare us to yourself, okay? You know more about Christian and everything, okay? 
we are like normal Muslims, okay? It's not like I'm not saying I'm the best Muslim ever. You should talk, if you want to talk about it, I would like you, I, I want you to go to some mosque, okay? And but, talk to the scholar. Here's the thing. No way of coming here and but, but I I understand what you say. But you have to know why you believe what you believe. If if you make an acclaim, right? Well, guys, let me finish, let me finish. If you're making a claim, you made the claim that Bible's changed, right? So if you're going to say that, I have a right to come and say, blah, 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 here's yeah, the and then I can compare that to the Quran. But look, we're yeah, not yeah. professional, we don't have any... Yeah, but if you said that, that, like, like we don't know things properly about the, about the Quran and that, yeah? Right. You said that, if we, if we go to any Christian home and we ask them, yeah, what do you know about, about the Bible? Yeah, yeah. Like explain properly and all this. Will they be able to say it? Many won't. Many won't. And you know what happens in Hyde Park? It's the same thing. No, but for what us happens then. in Hyde Park? With you, you two guys, you know what we've done? We've kept the camera on me. Right? We've not caught it on your faces, right? But at Hyde Park, there's no mercy for Christians by the Muslim Dawah teams. They will put that camera on the Christian faces and what they will do when when the questions are being asked. They will put that camera on the Christian faces and they will show the Christians, listen, who don't know anything, crumble and get it on camera. But we haven't done that with you. Do you know why? Because we treat you with dignity. Alright, can I just say? Yeah? Okay, so if some Muslims do you don't blame all the Muslims, do you? No, but, but, but there, there, you, haven't got, you haven't got one Dawah team, you have like 10 Dawah teams. Okay, but here's the thing though, even if 10 Dawah teams did that, okay, so you're trying to say, that if uh, one person commit the crime, you you punish the whole generation. That's not how it works, okay? No, I'm not saying that. No, is that what you just said? No, no, no. No, that's what you meant. That's what you said. No, I'm not saying that. No, is that what you mean, though? No, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, you're saying that you don't know anything. Yeah. yeah. Right. And what I'm saying is, I'm treating you with respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because I know that you've not read a lot. So I'm having a friendly dialogue, right? But what I could do, if I wanted to do, we could have secretly had my friend over there, and you wouldn't have known that we're recording and we have you on the foot on faces. And then I could have been asking you questions, knowing you would find it hard. So we get the picture of your faces, like confused. And then we put it online, and it goes viral. And we say, oh, we showed up the Muslims. Yeah, we didn't do that. Listen, listen. I treated you with respect. Yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah. Know, yeah. Now, that same kind of respect is not given to Christians in Hyde Park. Well, yeah, every Hyde Park, every Sunday, every Sunday, Christians go through there. They're walking through. Yeah. Young people like you, they don't know anything. Well, and they the get thing. it on. The, they get their faces and they wipe the floor with them. And it's Can I just say, yeah, why don't you go Hyde Park? With us, we're just having a friendly dialogue. Yeah, why don't listen? Different. Why don't you go Hyde Park and talk to them about it? I do, bro. And then what happens then? What happens? They don't want to debate me, mate. What do you mean they don't want to debate you? If they are Muslim scholars, they should debate you. They don't want to debate me. I don't, I don't yeah, then... I have, yeah, then I have a lot of... I have about eight, nine debates with them, but now they don't want to debate me. You know why? Because I talk about the Quran, and I take the Quran about this issue about the Quran has changed or the Bible's changed. And they don't want to deal with that information. Well, I can't really say anything about it, to be honest, mate. I have the same point. You should go to some professional scholars. I don't know anyone here, bro. So, like, you should talk to your. Okay. Okay. Here's the point. If I die tonight and you die tonight, how do you know you're going to go to heaven? Well, no, we, don't, we don't really know. Basically, by season Quran, that you get what you want. So, like, the things you did in the past will happen to you. Like, you get judged on the basis. So, if you commit sin, you go to hell. And if you didn't, then you go to Jannah. That's that thing, a paradise. Okay. That's okay. what I see. That's what we do. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's for now. So you know, like, even George, I don't think you guys are sure that where you're gonna go. Are you like? We are sure. Yeah. We have a hope. The Bible calls the blessed hope, yeah, the eternal hope. hope yeah, yeah, that's a hope. But the Bible, when the Bible talks about hope, it talks about a sure thing. But does, do you have any proof that what happens after? Yeah, we have, we have proof. We have, well, we have proof that Jesus died and rose again. And so if he rose again and conquered death, if we believe in him, we're going to conquer death. So that's our proof. If you can show, if, if you can show as Muslims, that 
that Jesus did not die and rise again, then you defeat Christianity. But we can show you evidence that he died and rose again, and if he conquered death, we know for a fact that if we believe in him, we believe in No, your holy book, it depends, are you Shia or Sunni? Sunni. Sunni, Sunni definitely teach that Jesus did not die. Sunni. There are verses that actually say he didn't die, he did die, but the main Quranic teaching that they hold in on, the Muslim uh, scholars and the Muslim uh, apologists, is a verse that says he did not die. That's the one verse. Well, what I was taught was that he died and he went to well, those who taught you that that, that that died, they must be evangelical born again Christians, because no Muslim imam will be. They're, they're not orthodox then in the teaching, but it's good that they are teaching that. But it's not normal Sunni teaching. good that they are teaching Because it's good, because that's what the Bible teaches that he died and rose again. But the Quran doesn't teach that. What we believe. Is that from the Muslim perspective. There would be judgment. Yeah. Yeah, there would be Yeah, judgment. Yeah, yeah. That would be day where all your sins are like uh, like compared. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. That day, that means you will have heaven. Right, okay. Yeah. But my my point is you don't know today your sins are forgiven. Yeah, it's the same with Christians. We know, we do. Yeah, but I'll show you, I'll show you. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, 80. 80. Yeah, 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 who was the most authoritative person after Muhammad? Like Ali, was it Ali, Abu Bakr? I don't But they were companions that had authority, were very important. Yeah, they were. Very important. And whatever they say was very, very important, yeah? So when Jesus, Jesus was around, he had companions, he had, and they were called apostles. And they had the right, they had the authority to teach what the Bible teaches, to teach what God says. Now here, in, in, in verse 9, it says, this is an apostle. This is like one of Jesus' companions. He says, he's called John. So John, John lived with Jesus three years. Every day was taught by Jesus, yeah? And he says this, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yeah, that's what he says in Quran. So this promise, yeah, but it, when he's saying he's forgiven, it's based on the death of Jesus. That, that if you read no, his book, I don't really think it's based on the death. But if you if you, if you read John, it's a, it talks about the death of Jesus and that Jesus is the Son of God. Yeah, but that's the Bible. But, but, the, that's, the Bible, the but that's the Word of God, bro. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> It's the word of God. <laughs> Give me five, man. Yeah. Yeah. Give me five.